What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John Plays here and today we're going to be talking about how to evolve regional variants and breed regional variants in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon has a total of 10 different lines of species of Pokemon that have regional variants, including Rattata, Sandshrew, Vulpix, Diglett, Meowth, Geodude, and Grimer. Those seven only have regional variants for their entire evolutionary line, as opposed to Execute, Pikachu, and Cubone. Those three Pokemon have evolutions that go one of two ways for regional variants, which uh, I, I guess is what they do now instead of like, Poliwhirl evolving into Poliwrath or Politoed, but uh, I, I still think Politoed is a lot cooler than Poliwrath. Also a Lolan Raichu surf, so that's pretty cool. But today I want to go over a couple of really interesting pieces of information that every Pokemon trainer should know in regard to breeding these Pokemon. First thing I want to go on record and say is, these seven Pokemon right here, Geodude, Meowth, Diglett, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Rattata, and Grimer, can not be obtained in their non-Ololian forms in this generation. You can by no means whatsoever get these seven Pokemon in Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. If someone tells you otherwise, they are a big smelly liar. However, you can get yourself a Pikachu, an Execute, or a Cubone that evolves into a non-Alolan Raichu, Executor, and Marowak. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm also going to be going over breeding the non-Alolan forms, and if you have a non-Alolan, how you would go ahead and breed them to be non-Alolan. That way, you can trade those on the GTS and get your hands on them. Great. First, I'm going to stop in Olivia's jewelry shop right here. I'm going to pick up a Thunderstone. I'm going to need one of those, and I'm going to need a Leaf Stone. Great. Awesome. Bought both of those things. Let's get out of here. So the first point we're going to be going into detail about is how to evolve these Cantonian Pokemon into their Cantonian evolutions. If you take a Thunderstone and drop it on a Pikachu, by the way, for the record, the Cap Pikachus cannot evolve under any means whatsoever. They cannot evolve. They, it, it says it won't have any effect as opposed to in Pokemon Yellow where it's like Pikachu hit it out of your hand or Pikachu turned away. If you use a Thunderstone on a Pikachu, Pay attention to the music. You're gonna get yourself an Alolan Raichu. For whatever reason, if you want to get yourself a Cantonian Raichu, what you need to do is enter the Ultra Wormhole. If you enter the Ultra Wormhole, you're obviously gonna be entering a place that's thousands of light years away. Also, I'm gonna be pretty non-spoilery. Um, obviously, you know there's an Ultra Wormhole since there may have very well been an ad on this video that showed off the Ultra Wormhole and Team Rainbow Rocket and a whole bunch of things that I try not to talk about because of spoilers, but Nintendo is all like, hey, these are the biggest changes of the game. We want people to see that there's changes, so spoilers, thanks, in your trailer. When you're in the Ultra Wormhole, you make your way through. This is where you encounter a whole bunch of legendary Pokemon and an increased chance to catch shiny Pokemon, up to 7%, I believe. Um, if you want some more information about all the legendary Pokemon in the Ultra Wormhole, there should be a card in the top right corner right meow. Boop. 2,800 light years away. Now, the fun fact here is we are 2,000 whatever light years away. Light years are a measurement of distance, not time, as we learn in Brock's Gym in Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow. So, since we are technically not in Alola anymore, you can come on in here, take this Thunderstone, and with this Thunderstone, we drop it on Pikachu. Pikachu. And you notice that the evolution music is different. It's a regular evolution music, as opposed to the Alolan evolution music, which is in a lower key. And boom, Raichu. Why you would want to go ahead and get yourself a Cantonian Raichu over an Alolan Raichu, I'm not too sure. It's new typing is great, it's new stats are great. Maybe maybe the eyes and the cheeks freak you out, I don't know. Also, same thing goes for Execute. You can drop a Leaf Stone on him. Thanks. You can drop a Leaf Stone on him. And with that, you're going to be getting yourself a Cantonian Executor. Which I just want to talk about something here for a second. So, in Pokemon Sun, it says, 
Alola is the best environment for this Pokemon. Local people take pride in its appearance, saying this is how Executor ought to look. Now what's funny is, you going into the Ultra Wormhole and getting yourself a Cantonian Executor is basically stunting its growth and uh, and allowing it to not flourish as a flor as a uh, a plant, a Florian species. I, I don't know how you would say that. Now, subject I want to talk about is breeding. Giggity. As I mentioned before, if you have an Alolan Persian in your game, there is no way to get yourself a Cantonian Persian. You would need to actually get yourself on a Cantonian variant of that Pokemon. Same thing goes for Grimer, Vulpix, Ninetales, all those Pokemon. Yes. If you happen to get yourself your hands on a Cantonian Vulpix or whatever Pokemon like that, you can actually preserve their regional variant. And the trick to that is to actually give them an Everstone. Now, Everstones are not hard to come by at all. I already have one. I didn't even try to look for one. I actually think I got one, um, uh, Roggen, Rolla, and Boldor. I don't know how to say their names. I'm probably saying them wrong. But those two Pokemon actually have a 50% chance of having it as a held item and they have sturdy, so it, it's it's one of the easiest Pokemon to catch. Anyways, now that my Vulpix is holding the Everstone, I can give it to the nursery lady over here. All right, I'll take care of your Vulpix for a while. Come back in a little bit, great. Hope that Ditto and Vulpix get along pretty well. Oh, hey there, so your arms are crossed. Oh, hey, I have surprising news for you. Your Pokemon was holding an egg. It's a total mystery, right? Right, sure is. Now I'm just gonna come here real quick. I'm going to take my Vulpix out of the nursery. I'm going to remove the Everstone, and I'm gonna put the Vulpix back in. Now Vulpix is back in there without the Everstone, along with Ditto. Thanks, Ditto. Uh, something I wanna go on record to say is, when you have a Pokemon that's holding an Everstone inside of the nursery while breeding, there is a 50% chance that that Pokemon is going to have the same nature as its parent. So that Vulpix has a 50% chance of having the same nature as the Vulpix that I put in there. So now as you see, I have my two eggs in here. Also I have a Pokemon with Flame Body to, to, to heat up the egg process. Talon Flame is in here. This egg was made with the Vulpix holding the Everstone and this egg was made with the Vulpix without holding the Everstone. Oh! So you hear that, that high pitched sound? This is probably gonna be our Cantonian Vulpix. Also, the background is very different. Boom. So taking my Vulpix, I was able to get myself a Cantonian and an Alolan Vulpix using the same Vulpix. I said that, I'm, I'm getting redundant, sorry about that. So let's go ahead and seek ourselves out a Vulpix. And as you see in here, there are a whole bunch, ooh, that is a shiny Cantonian Vulpix. <sighs> oh, and they're asking for a legendary. And that's a Cantonian Vulpix, asking for a legendary. Oh, and asking for a UB. Great, and asking for another UB, and a legendary, and a legendary. Guys, this is, this is not how to use the GTS. Oh, so like right here, we have a Cantonian Vulpix, asking for a scissor, well that's not right, and level 91, no. I don't think it's so much that the GTS is just the worst place in the world, I just think that all of the reasonable trades go quickly. Unlike this one, which this Cantonian Vulpix is asking for a Porygon 2. No. A level 91 Blaziken. So, uh, this is a horrible example of what I'm talking about, but with these exclusive Cantonian Pokemon, you can ask for somewhat slightly rarer of Pokemon. So say for example, you need a Pokemon that's not available in your version of the game, like a, like a Passimian or something like that. Great way to get your hands on them. Not so much a level 91 uh, Yanmega, no. So guys, hope this video was helpful on regional variant Pokemon, how to breed them, how to get them, how to get non-regional variant exclusive Pokemon and everything else. If this video was helpful, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.